So comment, subscribe, dislike, or like. Check out the links in the descriptions for other of my um, sites, other activities that I'm involved in. Got a whole bunch of Facebook groups you can check out. I play multiple card games, so I do music among other things, so check out the links in the description. So this is uh, Patchyak versus uh, Boma GT. This uh, this is the Gogeta Gogeta Zeno blocker Patchyak thing. Um, I got the Coke, one drop Goku, which begins, so obviously I want that. That will help me get up a 30k, because I already have Vegeta in my hand, so I can get the Goku out with, uh, the, with, the, Go, with the Goku, which begins. And then I can have a 30k, you know, battle card I could be swinging with, obviously. And then I could always make it 40k, obviously, with the 4 star ball. So, got rid of one of the... Um, Blockers. Of course, you want to search out the balls first. So go we'll grab one of the four stars before you use a leader's effect. So, yeah. so the, the irony is that. I wanted that unison because that unison will allow me to turn my skillless battle cards into blockers, which would be obviously useful for defending. Just adding more defense to the deck, but also uh, more more removal. Unfortunately, the, the the unison doesn't doesn't ignore barrier, which is something that you need. More in the deck, or barrier hate. So you see my opponents playing their starship, I'm playing their spaceship, day markers, and they're gonna be putting cards under it. Just put one card under. They put the Goku trunks and pan, a drop. Of course, though. They'll try to get that, that out soon. Putting more cards on the, on the unison. So of course I am playing to awaken my leader. So charge the, the Vegeta. Because I could always get another Vegeta through the effect of Goku. So I grab another four star ball. Then I activate my uh, Goku's ability. To go grab, to go play out the uh, Goku. There's the Goku Zeno. Two four star balls in my hands. I can easily make them a 50k, but it's not necessary. Now I use my leader's ability. Got a lot of toes in my hand. So I swing. Obviously, he'll need 30k combo power to uh, combo that attack, so he's clearly not gonna do that, so he's just gonna take the hit. He could block, but he wants to keep those two uh, cards in play, so that's something important to notice. That even though he could block, those cards are actually important. Part of his engine, so he's not going to actually block with them. So I can take advantage of that and keep swinging out once later. So I'm one turn away from awakening. He's putting more cards under his uh, spaceship so he can start slowly building up his forces, start stacking up his wind cone. Huh? Funny thing that that whole strategy could be can be destroyed if I could just get rid of the unison, right?
But the first couple of turns of the game are very important. I can't waste attacks on unison. Because I don't have that many attacks to use anyway. So, just focus on dealing with one damage. Ideally, I want all my damage to be crit. I want my opponent benefiting from my attacks. And not everything comes with crit. That has crit, by the way. <laughs> That's 15k with crit. Obviously, he's going to try to use it against me. As we can see, my hand size is way thicker than my opponent's. I got three cards more than him. Don't respond. Let's see, play that. Four star balls. Because I can always get it back, so it's not a problem using the four star ball. And I want that um, Dr. Leche in the drop so I can play it for two energy from my drop, so it was worth comboing it off. I have plenty of four star balls. I only need one at a time, so just go to that. State of the ability. So here, what I think I'm doing. Yeah, I play the toy for one energy and use the, her. Effect along with the four star ball. I wake in my leader first, then I use the four star ball with uh, my Toa in order to warp one of his battle cards. Uh, I'm obviously going to hit his uh, three drop Goku because that's his main attacker that's, that he wants to use. So I said I want to get rid of that. So why oh, don't no, I get rid of this Phyllis? But yeah, I don't have a four star ball in my hand. Not yet, anyway. So I get a marker. Swing. 30k. So it doesn't block, so he's obviously going to take that. Swing. Step. I get to draw and I become 20k. Double strike here. So now 30k double strike. He takes it. So he's at 4, I'm at 8. I'm like, I have the ability to spark in the gate, so I was like, alright. Not defenseless, plus I have 8 life, so. I can afford to take damage, so it's like I'll play this one drop and get the four star ball back. So it's not a problem that I tap out here. Even though we know he could bring out the, the eight drop, and if he uses it right, he can attack three times. So that's his main attacker is the eight drop Goku trunks in hand. Granted, I could have um, not double strike, not play the go the one drop Goku, and kept the two energy so I can play um what's her name uh, Oceanus because obviously after turn two will be be the time you want to play defensive. So you want to keep your defenses up after turn two. Um, but I decided just to go all in, <sighs> taking the risk just so I can get the reward of dealing with plant damage. Of course, he has the ability to awaken now. So he does minus 30k to all my battle cards. And he gets attacked three times. 
He does that, which surprised me. Because he's going to awaken the leader. It's so in heartfelt plea, I'm like, okay, that was weird. You could have attacked uh, first. And then, oh, then the awaken thing. So, I was a little surprised. Well, he can't do the three drop again. So I think that was part of the strategy. He just wants to clear my board. He wants, he wants to play Heartfelt Plea, and then he wants to play the 8-drop afterwards. He wants to attack with the Heartfelt Plea first, and then play the, and then swing with the 8-drop. As opposed to the other way, which is attack with the 8-drop, the first 8-drop, and then Heartfelt Plea, but not be able to attack with the Heartfelt Plea. So he's going to swing with the Heartfelt Plea. Of course, I negate that. So... Take one, take one damage, hit that Goku back so I can get the four star. So he does play another copy of the ink drum. So I take the hit. <laughs> Not going to be able to stop that. He attacked my unit, so I'm like, cool. That's damage to me. Good with that. Ferrari attacks the unison again, it's like, alright, cool. She's, she's doing a great job of absorbing attacks. So I'm at five. Sucks that I have nothing that ignores barrier in my hand to get rid of barrier battle cards. Do have the ability to you know, for two energy get rid of a lot of its battle cards, so at least some of them. I think I wanna get rid of two. I think uh, Heartfelt Plea and the, the one drop trunks is the only thing that I hit with this. Because he keeps everything else. So that's one card gone. Two cards gone. I think that truck has bearer. That's why he's still there. But for twenty energy, I was able to get rid of two battle cards. So that's something. The thing is, I would love to be able to take the... See what's ironic is I could play another, um, another fin. The only thing is, is that it would do nothing. So, obviously, <laughs> but at least this fin did something. Didn't do nothing super great, but it did something. Please, heartfelt, please gone. It's that eight drop that's in the way. Because at any moment it can it can board wipe, so that's a very powerful effect. Because all it has to do is remove three markers from the unison, which that's too easy because the unison just keeps stacking up markers. So every turn it can board wipe, board wipe, and you know the fact that you know, it's bringing out blockers. So great, nice, nice strategy. Definitely my place now. <laughs> Block, destroy, block, destroy. It's not enough to block attacks. You gotta also get rid of whatever is attacking. That's how you have port control. So my point is, you know, still doing a good job on port control. So I dropped the Oceanus, dropped the four star ball. So that stops that attack. I have Oceanus to block another attack. It's so ironic that, you know, people act like Oceanus is like Topo, and they choose not to attack. It's like, okay, even though you're in a really good position, 
could afford you could afford to mail four cards just to hit me with a strong attack, but they usually don't. Technically, they'll lose eight cards because I could always block the first attack and then the next attack will cost four more. So that's a total of eight cards they can lose just trying to deal one damage to me. Which is understandable why they would want to not attack. But what's in your deck is irrelevant. As long as you have good stuff in your hand and good stuff on the board that you can win with, that's all that really matters. But that's just my viewpoint. I always I think it's funny that people don't take the Oceanus challenge. <sighs> Better for me. I'll, I'll take the extra three turns. Charge, so I get rid of that. Cause I already past it's already past the time where I can use this. I said so. Trying to start going into another use. So uh, sucks that some of the stuff has barrier, so I get some away. Cause she doesn't ignore barrier. So my my so my plan here is to is to try to at least uh, try to do three damage because they're they are at three life so but he has a thick hand now, so that'd be hard to do that, obviously. But the idea is to try to, to try to deal some damage, try to get him down to two at least. If I get him down to two and potentially get speed topos, so that's an unfortunate thing. He does drop a card. So he stops Toa play. This to take this eight drop. So, let's do the attack with his eight drop and then drop the, uh, the what is it called? The uh, Easter Paint Car so I can. Turn into a 40k double strike. So drop two cards. <sighs> Box the attack. So that sucked. Swing with that, drop these two. I mean, think about it, I really shouldn't have. Two blocks, a draw. KO that. And then two. Dropping those two cards wasn't worth it. I was trying to see if I can get the double strike damage to go through. But it didn't work out when I had the ability to stop me. Let's see. He's, he's adding more cards to his spaceship. His deck is currently at 17 cards. His hand size is 12, minus is 3. Even though I have more life than him, he's in a better 
position the me. He clears my pocket. I have my own Oma GT list up soon. I did make one before, but it was it didn't have that many GT cards in it, and I wasn't using the Unison. But I'm going to give the Unison a try. It looks like fun. Being able to stack all the cards under it. <sighs> Play them whenever you want. So your tags. Let's skip some steps right quick. Obviously, he's just gonna be attacking a lot. He should be winning this turn. Okay, so as you can see, that's important there. So of course he's attacking. Take the hit. So I'm at three. He restands. Swings again. So that's his third and final attack. Take it. So now I'm at two. Oh no, that was the second attack. This is this would be his third attack, but he doesn't attack here. He evolves instead because he wants to attack with this. Even though he could have attacked, played this on top of it, and then use its active. So let's see, he's going with his. Hyper Evolution, Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Which is getting stronger by 5k every time it attacks. Super combos. Let's make sure my attack is too strong. So he's 60k, but that's only the one cut oh, no. so he can't, so he can't, so he can't burn me with the, the, the battle cards effect, it only applies to the autos, so he has to be 60 when he, when he attacks already, cool. Now he's trying to decide what he's going to discard. Obviously, we'll skip some steps because clearly he got a game. If I have one energy up, if I kept two energy up, is what I'm saying. If I kept two energy up, I could have Oceanus, and that would have saved me that turn, survived that turn. Try to double strike him. For game, you know, try to double strike the following turn after that. So, this is all pointless. Obviously, I'm just doing this just for the sake of doing it, just to, just because I have the ability to do it. But, we all know he got a game. So, so, well, is just the, would have made a big difference in that scenario. Especially considering the fact that he only has, uh, 15 cards if he chose to try to attack through Oceanus. That would be like six, uh, four attacks would, would have ended him out by Oceanus. But I mean, you know, yeah, I would have decked him out, but I didn't keep the Oceanus up. But that's on me. Obviously, I'm just play testing, but I definitely would have kept up my defenses and make sure I can hold his Oceanus. Especially knowing that he had he could always bring out the eight drop. So there's that. Knowledge is power. So now you see the GT cars in action, you see them with Boma. Obviously pretty good with Boma. Not perfect but it's pretty good with Boma. You see me play 
Hat check. It's been a while. I see another video.